So are you exhausted after giving up your carbs? Now I want to explain why this is. I recently did a video talking about this, but I wanted to create one video just on this one point because I think it's really, really important. Okay. In your body, you have something called the mitochondria. The mitochondria is where all the energy is, is created in your body. And you have food that converts into energy. Uh, in order to do that, you need uh, all these different chemical reactions that occur, this biochemical pathway. To make it really simple, um, you can think of it like a carburetor where you're mixing air or oxygen with fuel at the right ratios with a spark plug to create energy or in the body it's called ATP. Okay, um, The spark plug that ignites this combination right here, there's two. There's vitamin B1 and magnesium. Okay, These two nutrients are the cofactors for enzymes. The enzyme is what's doing the work in the spark plug. Okay, but these two are essential to make this activated. So without these, this never sparks, so you don't get the energy. Okay, so our bodies need a lot of B1 and magnesium, especially if we have a history of doing high carb diets. Okay, and then we do ketosis. Okay, we get off the carbs, we develop new machinery to actually burn fat. Well, you actually now need also a good amount of these. So if you're going into this without these two nutrients, you might not be able to generate the energy that you need. So simply start plugging in B1 and magnesium to this equation. You're going to start getting more and more energy. Another problem is when you do too much fuel, like in a high carbohydrate diet, uh, the ratio then becomes off. So now we have too much fuel for the oxygen because we normally should have just like a little drop right, in a carburetor. But if you have too much fuel, you actually flood the engine and that's another way to be very, very tired. So I recommend if you're going to take B1, also take nutritional yeast or find a natural B complex. So that way, if you're taking B1, it doesn't eventually knock out the other factors because in nature, you always want the complex. Okay. It's okay to take B1, but if you're taking a long period of time, you want to take the complex with it and make sure it's a natural source, like nutritional yeast is a natural source of B vitamins. Okay, but there's other sources as well. And also take a magnesium with that together so you can uh, create the spark to, to get your energy back. All right, thanks for watching. So I want to know about what you think about this video. So please comment below and tell me what you think.